This week on The Wire, RBA says no rate increase imminent, country real estate outperforms, and buyers pay more for a swimming pool. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate. You can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment, and more. Kicking it off with our top story for this week, RBA says no rate increase imminent. So despite constant media speculation about interest rate rises, the head of the Reserve Bank has yet again reiterated that wages need to increase before the cash rate does. Now, RBA Governor Philip Lowe says underlying inflation has not yet reached a point that necessitates a rate increase. Now, the RBA has lifted its near-term inflation outlook, but Lowe says it can afford to wait for a wages increase before moving the official cash rate. Now, he expects the economy to bounce back strongly in the coming months as Australia's unemployment rate looks to drop below 4%. Now, Commonwealth Bank economist Gareth Aird says the RBA's upgraded outlook on inflation and unemployment released on Tuesday suggested it was on the cusp of normalising the cash rate. But Lowe's comments on Wednesday pushed against that notion. Now, Aird says the RBA's central scenario puts inflation sustainably in the target range, but the government has said that it's too early to conclude the forecast will be achieved. And now, moving on to our next story. So country real estate outperforms. So regional properties are performing well with new figures revealing significant returns for investors outside of the capital cities. Now core logic figures for the December quarter show houses in regional areas returned a gross rental yield of 4.1% compared to 2.8% in capital cities. Now between March 2020 and the end of 2021, regional house values increased 32% compared to with 20% in capital cities. Simon Presley of Propertyology says even though many of the best performing and yielding markets are in the regions, many buyers lack the confidence to buy outside the city markets. Now he warns there are some risks associated with investing in regional areas and investors must do their homework before committing. Now Presley says Coffs Harbour, Armidale, Dubbo, Orange and Wagga Wagga in New South Wales meet good investment criteria as do Wodonga, Muldura, Bendigo, Shepparton, Ballarat and Geelong in Victoria. Now, the Rising Stars report, published by CanStar and Hotspotting, ranks three regional jurisdictions. They are New South Wales, Queensland, and West Australia as the top-rated markets. Now, guys, moving on to our final story of the week. Buyers pay more for a swimming pool. So demand for backyard swimming pools has jumped 55% since the start of the pandemic. Now, Swimming Pool and Spa Association of Australia Chief Executive Lindsay McGrath says demand has risen in every state and territory. Now, pool and swimming pool are, uh, I should say, swimming pools are the most searched terms on realestate.com.au, with buyers entering those keywords seven times more often than the next most popular feature, which is a garage. Now, Frank Valentic of Advantage Property Consulting says that buyers will pay a premium of between 10% and 20% for a house with a pool. He says pools haven't always been in big demand, but they were undergoing a resurgence with home buyers. Now, Valentic says, previously, some might have seen it as a negative rather than a positive. But I've not had one person say anything like that since COVID because there's been a massive lifestyle shift. Now, Valentic says owners shouldn't install a pool just to add value to their property, but do it for their own enjoyment. Well, guys, they are the top stories happening this week. Now, please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Now, have a great week, and remember, only one thing in life that makes a difference, that's action. Thanks a lot, and bye for now.